This is Fallout. Bum, 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 ba dum, bum. This is Fallout. Bum, 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 ba dum, bum. Like if you enjoyed the video, please. I'll see you guys soon. Hello, you beautiful sons of guns, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Mm -ah 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 -ah. Last time, we barely escaped a nuke by going down into a vault. Vault 111, to be precise. This episode, we're going to explore and figure out what the hell happened while we were down there. And we're back! Sorry about that, I just had to quickly pause. Uh, last episode, I came into, rather, Dark Panda, sorry, came into a uh, area where he realized that none of the people that I was talking about knew, like, were loud. Everybody was, like, whispering. So, I think I fixed that. I put the volume of voices on the maximum volume, and hopefully they'll release an update soon where the subtitles work. But, uh, I think that's been enough talking. Let's continue our adventure. Now, Rodrigo Medendez is going to be a heavy weapons user. That means he uses shotguns, full machine guns. He uses uh, grenades. He uses rifles, but he does not, in fact, use uh, pistols. He'd rather use his fist. So... I might end up dying a couple times just trying to survive. Because, uh, considering the fact that I'm not allowed to use any weapons until I find a rifle of some sorts. That's going to be a bit of a problem. But I think Rodrigo Menendez might, in fact, or Rodrigo da Vinci might, in fact, compensate for a weapon of this fashion. Considering, you know, it's kind of a bad situation, right? Also, this is an interesting series where you can tell me to edit more, edit less, depending on what's going on, and if you guys have watched it already, uh, what you think is going to happen, what's gonna, what you want to change. This is a very open series, I'm a very open person, so if there's something that's going too slow, tell me to make longer videos. If something's going too quick, tell me to make shorter videos. If something, er, tell me to rather uh, edit less out. Uh, and if you want the opposite, tell me to edit more out. I really do take everything you guys say in the comments considerably. Um, on that note, I would appreciate if you guys use the comments a bit more. Uh, it doesn't matter what. If you have anything to say, let me know. Just please, I'd rather not listen to a bunch of hate when it's not required. If it's required and I was being a dick and I was killing thousands of people, I'd say go for it. I probably wouldn't care still, but... <laughs> Hmm, here we go. We got some cool beds. Maybe we can, uh, this is where maybe they had, like, their sleepovers with, uh, their pork and beans all inside of one bed. They, like, smothered it all over their, uh, gaping wide face holes. Trying to, uh, yeah. in fact, deal with all a bunch of giant ro ro roaches, cockroaches. Which is probably actually a really, really annoying thing. Got some rad roaches. Oof. Uh, I got it. Uh, ooh, water fountain. I always use a water fountain. We have some water fountains in our school. Ooh. It was at this point that Panda didn't grab the stim packs. Don't worry about it, it should be fine. He'll probably live if I don't kill him first. See ya. Look at this. Rodrigo Menendez finally has his first gun, but he can't use this as soon as he gets a proper gun, so I'll have to remember that. And if I don't, you guys in the comments let me know, okay? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna wander around, some cool shit to take, we got a cigarette box, we got some more rounds, because I've come into the point in the game, the farthest I've ever gotten is the first mission being done, where I finally got to choose the armor. Yeah, terminal should open everything just fine. So, hopefully this will be fun. <laughs> Welcome to Ralco Industries TM Term Link Clearance. Overseer eyes only. I want to look at this. Personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before I... I really don't care if you guys want to know what that says. Freaking read it for yourselves. Here we go. Oh, what is it? Rodrigo Menendez is supposed to be... 
really good with the gun, so let's see how he does. Boom! Miss! 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 Hit! 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 There we go. And hit! I said hit! I said hit! 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 Oh. I'm okay! Okay, we're good. We're good. I shall fuck! God! Nope! There's a lot of them. Are we okay? Is there more? Hello? Are you still moving? No, he's dead. Hello? Okay. So far, nothing's happened. Oh! Oh! One, two. One, two. Three, four. Aha! I can do it too, see? Ew. I'm gonna headshot this guy, ready? Boom! Oh shit. Boom, boom, boom! There we go. Frick, Rodrigo, get your class act on. That makes no sense what just happened there, but I know it happened because I played this a bunch. I was waiting for you guys forever, by the way. I literally couldn't go farther than friggin' this vault. Because I was waiting for so long trying to get this. Look at this. I heard that a long time ago, computers used to start that way, actually. Holy girl. 64,000 RAM spree? Holy crap. Hey, man. What's up? We got security baton. Oh, wait. We got a new uh, one of these, didn't we? Yeah. Let's do that one, then. Let's take off our wedding ring, because we never wanted to marry that bitch in the first place. Holy shit, we've got a lot of stuff from this vault alone. Okay, let's activate this shit. Plug it in. Pop. I don't know why you need to plug in that if you're just gonna friggin' press a button that was only covered by plastic. <laughs> no, what? Screw you, I don't want it. I'll just hop over the thing. Well, that's where we got the friggin' new suit, isn't it? Maybe there's some shit over here I can take. It's a dead person. There's a chair. 10 millimeter rounds. Is, uh, is that it? There's some shit down here. Hello? 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 No? Behind here? No? Okay. No, we're good. Oh. Okay, we're good. Apparently it's clear. Which is perfect. What the hell's this? Vault tech. That's all I can read on that thing. Either way, this thing's opening. Sorry if uh, I'm snorting or sniffling a lot. I hate the cold in Canada. It's the worst. So I was, I also, I was looking at my statistics. Apparently some of you are from Finland. That's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, wait a second. We got this. Okay, we're very lucky. I feel like we don't need any intelligence at all. I mean, we're Rodrigo da Vinci, not math genius. Well, I decided to uh, change it. Oh. I had no other choice. Um, I decided to change the strength a little lower and improve his perseverance, or his uh, perception and his endurance. Not his endurance, his uh, friggin' uh, agility. There we go. Because I feel like we're going to be using guns a lot more than we're going to be using physical weapons. Although in the future we could max out everything. I seriously don't know. I haven't gotten very far in this game. Ooh. Pretty light. I can't see. That's blinding. Holy shit. This guy. Oof, the lights. Oof. No, it's... That reminds me of, like, when I was younger, I would, uh... Actually, the other day, I was in school, uh, and I was kind of just sitting there, right? And then me and my friend Neon, you know Neon, yeah? He goes to the same school as I do. 
um, we were going outside, and uh, as soon as we went outside, because we were in the movies for like an hour, as soon as we went outside, both of us just stopped, looked at each other, and our eyes just blew white. It was horrible. I never felt more, <laughs> like, scarred or traumatized in my life than that moment, because holy shit. That was blinding that time. Look at this. Ugh, it's horrible. I really hope my stim pa or my uh, sniffling doesn't cheer it, make you guys run away in fear. We got some Nuka Cola bottles. This is good. I hope there's some caps on it. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of pointless, but whatever. Hmm. We got some cool stuff. We got our own. Which is interesting. Uh, I think we're here. Press left. Why is it telling me a sprint? Run! Run! I don't wanna. I really don't. Oh, is that Codsworth? Dude, it's Codsworth! <gasps> dude, 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 dude! I haven't seen you since before the nuclear explosion. Yeah, that's right, bud. And it's you! Uh, what happened? This isn't happening. Everything's dead. Or, you're still here. Uh, let's, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to uh, get this thing in my nose so I wouldn't freaking continuously doing this. No cards worth. I'm not in fact uh, daydreaming. Uh, you're still here. Well, she's dead. Wife's killers? She can't be dead. They killed her. A better place. They killed her. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. What would this distraction be? No. He's dead too. Have you seen Sean? Nothing makes sense. They stole him. He's been kidnapped. Have you seen Sean? Have you seen? Have you seen Sean? Sorry if you guys can hear that in the background, by the way. Uh nothing makes sense. Years? Guys, I think this is this is Cogwarts acting a little strange, so sorry.
my question is, you're supposed to... So in order to make a robot like this, what you'd have to do is program emotions, and then you'd also have to program uh, him talking, right? So you'd have to do, like, hi, 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 and then, like, choose which to do in which situation. So who is there sitting like, THE CAR! WHAT AM I GOING TO DO ABOUT THE CAR? You know? This is annoying sense. Uh, focus. Yeah. something yeah. exactly yeah see uh yeah sure sorry again if you can hear the background wait a second I'll be right back I'm back. Sorry about that. We're looking around with Codsworth now. <laughs> he seems delightfully cheery, actually. That sounds gross. <coughs> Boom. Hello? You in there? Oh, I see him. Boom! Boom! Holy shit, Codsworth! Holy crap, man! Wait a second, man. I'm looking around. You know how hard it is to friggin' run around all the time? When there's so much stuff? Wait, wait, address? What? Okay. A laundered pink dress. Oh. My. God. <laughs> what the hell? This muscular man in this dress. I... No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> that's not something that's allowed, no. <laughs> but, uh, however, that cap kind of looks like the one I wear, so why the hell not? Uh, before we go with Codsworth, I'm just gonna take a bunch of shit and some bubble gum. Dog bowl. But, you know what? No, oh, no, I'm fine. Cool shit. Where'd Codsworth go? No idea. I'm just gonna take all the shit in here. Uh, there's an extinguisher, which is cool. We got some cool shit in here. No? No? No cool shit? You know, I I have a bunch of cool shit that in, uh, I'd like to shove up my ass. In, in a typical, uh, in a typical survival horror post-apocalypse type of thing. Because when you're in an apocalypse, you got nothing else to do except for shove stuff up your ass. This is clinically proven. And, uh... Ooh, shotgun shells. And, uh, it's no different for Rodrigo da Vinci. Okay, so... Rodrigo da Vinci shoves stuff up his ass, too. It's just kind of a thing that happens. I'm super sorry that if the people out there are being loud, but uh, I have no control over them. Where the hell did Codsworth go? Codsworth? Codsworth? There you are. Jeez, man. Don't run off like that. Hello? Yeah? Yeah. It's okay. Uh, 
You're useless, Codsworth. Okay, Codsworth, you do that, and I'm going to look around. But I think we're going to look around next time, because for now, if you like the video, drop a like down below. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you can get notifications of the content. Uh, if you want my channel to grow and be beautiful and flourish and get more beautiful purplets, I suggest you share the video to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, wherever you share it to. I've never done it before myself. Uh, I probably should start doing it, but uh, all the YouTubers I watch are normally big. Um, uh, there's, I have a friend's channel, his name's Neon. If you uh, guys are feeling considerate, you can go check it out. Uh, me and him do Monday videos on uh, uh, the tales of two very stupid people. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.